A common question that comes up from new to Linux users, especially those of you coming from the Windows world over to Linux, is do you need to bother running antivirus if you're running Linux? And I would say, for the most part, the answer is probably no. Probably 99% of the people that run Linux as a desktop operating system don't bother with antivirus software. It's generally just not something that's needed. But of course, use cases could vary. And if you want to run antivirus, there's actually plenty of antivirus software available for Linux, both free and open source antivirus tools, as well as some of the big proprietary names that you're familiar with from the Windows world. This morning, I was made aware that there is a new antivirus tool available for Linux made by Kaspersky. If you go to the Kaspersky website, they now have Kaspersky Virus Removal Tool, and that's KVRT for Linux. And this thing is really easy to install and run. All you need to do is click download. It's going to download a file called kvrt.run. Now, all you need to do at that point is wherever it downloads that file, such as your downloads folder, make sure that that file you give it execute permissions and then simply run that file. So because this is kind of a new tool, it hasn't been around, I'm not really sure how this tool is going to work, how long it's going to take to scan a system. I don't even know if it's potentially dangerous, like what happens if it has some false positives. But you know what? I went ahead and downloaded it and it's in my downloads folder and I've already given it execute permissions. If I right click in my file manager, go to permissions, you can see execute only owner. So I do have execute permissions. And then I'm just going to go ahead and double click it and execute. And away it goes. It's going to ask for my sudo password because obviously it has to scan the entire file system, all files, no matter who owns them. So it does need sudo privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and give it sudo privileges. Let me go ahead and close my file manager. Next, you do have to agree to some confirmations here. Basically, you have to confirm that you read the license, you know, whatever they do with your data, you're cool with, whether they share that data with other people, uh, whether the, the computer is harmed, you, you know, the standard kind of licensing agreements with this sort of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and click these three boxes, hit accept, and it says initialization. One really cool thing about this application, even though it is on Linux, they styled it to mimic. It's almost like I'm running a Windows 7 app, you know, with the little window decoration buttons here. And you can see now it says ready to scan. It's going to detect malware, adware, and legitimate applications that intruders can use to compromise the computer or personal data. So uh, let's go ahead and click start scan. This may take some time, so I'm probably just going to pause the video for several minutes, possibly even several hours while this runs, and I'll uh, report back on uh, what it finds. By the way, any malicious files that it detects, it will put them in a quarantine folder. This quarantine folder is going to be in slash var slash opt slash kvrt. So let me go ahead, hit start scan. All right, and away it goes. I'll be back once the scan has completed. Oh, wow. It completed. Actually, it completed that scan in a little over four minutes on my system. It processed a little over 75,000 objects, so it scanned 75,000 files or whatever, and it found uh, zero objects, so nothing needed to be quarantined. It didn't find anything. If I do reports, you can see scan, start, finished. Uh, See, quarantined items. There's nothing quarantined. By the way, if it had found those quarantined items, let me show you where it places those files. It's in slash var slash opt uh, kvrt. That's the Kaspersky virus removal tool data. And then there would be one more uh, folder here. If they create one called quarantine, and that's where all those files go. By the way, I can't even CD into this without uh, changing over to root because of the permissions, which makes sense. Uh, if it's putting malicious files in this particular directory and you know, it's probably really limiting the permissions on that directory just for you know security reasons so the tool seems to work as expected obviously Kaspersky is a well-known name in the antivirus software world and I know some of you guys are really looking for uh, more a professional kind of level antivirus software on Linux. I don't know if this particular tool would qualify for that. I will say that uh, some of the limitations with this particular tool, though, are that if you want to use this Kaspersky virus removal tool, it does pull down its information from a database online. So every time it runs, it needs to go grab the latest database of malware so it knows what to scan for. So your machine does need to be connected to the internet 
for this application to run. Now, before I go, I need to thank the producers of this episode. Matt, James, Steve, Armor, Dragon, Darloff, Daedalus, GDR, George, Lee, Matthew, Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Solas, Reti, and Ren, Roy, Gentoo, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at the brand new Kaspersky virus removal tool for Linux would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software and occasionally proprietary software like Kaspersky, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.